hi, it's Ashley Chucky here and I am back finally to do some updated square tutorial videos for you. I know they have been highly requested in some of the comment sections on my other square videos. So we are going to finally get to that. So in this video, we are going over how you will make or how you can make mass inventory changes easily. It's super fast and you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do when you need to do a mass inventory update, so this can be anything from changing descriptions of items or adding variations or changing, maybe you did a mass inventory at the end of the year um, and you have a lot of different inventory items that you need to change the numbers for or a massive price change. So that was what I saw in my business was that the um, company that I am an independent distributor for, they changed pricing. So I needed to go in and update a whole bunch bunch of um, products at one time. So that is what you would use this particular video for. And it's going to follow kind of the similar steps or same steps that you need to do when you're importing for the first time. But I thought it might be useful to show you all. So what you're going to do is when you are logged in from your home screen that you can see right here, the quick access you can customize under edit. Uh, so if you don't see your items tab there, then you can find it down here under items and order and then items and orders and you will click that button. So because I have it up here in quick access, I'm going to click that. So this is going to open up your dashboard for your items, obviously. And from here, it pulls up all of the items that you currently have in your inventory. So I'm going to then come over here to where it says actions. You're going to click that and then you're going to export your library. So this is going to um, export it to an Excel. So I, once you do that, it will give you the Excel file and then this is where you're going to make all of your changes. Okay, so this is going to open up and it's going to have all of your items that you currently have listed in your inventory. So this is gonna include um, your SKU numbers, what if you have them broken down by categories like I do, the descriptions, the price, you can see all of this um, across the top. So you're going to click to enable editing and this is the simple part because if you already have your inventory listed in here, then really you're not doing a whole lot of changes. So you're just gonna find the column or whatever the item is, like if you're updating SKU numbers, like I said, whatever it is that you're choosing to update. For me, it was this um, price column. And also while you're in here, if you wanted to update stock alerts and all of that, this is a lot easier way to do that on a larger scale. Um, if you've been adding items already like throughout like because i just every time a new color comes out i add it individually versus doing it this way uh, just because it's like one to five items at a time it's just not worth it to do it this way but if you were this would be a great time to edit it so from here you'll make all your changes you'll save and then you i'm, I'm not going to do it for the sake of time so You'll make any changes to that document. Like I said, it has everything in there from prices to quantity. Um, if you were wanting to add sales tax on something, there was a column for sales tax and you can say uh, Y or N for yes or no. Then once you've made those changes, you're gonna come right back to this screen and go to actions and then import library. So from here, this is where it's important because it's going to depend on what it is you're actually doing. You're either going to modify your library, which is what you would want to do if you were just making changes like to inventory numbers or prices or replace item library. So if you were doing like a mass overhaul, like maybe you were changing business types or types of products that you were selling, like say I was no longer selling makeup and skincare items and then I was going and selling only clothes, but I was like swapping it out. So doing replace item inventory is going to delete everything that was in there and then import with what you have. So depending on what changes you made, that could be important. So you want to do modify item library if that is what you um, were just making like individual changes. So you'll do that and click next. You'll pick the file wherever it was saved on your computer and then open. So it will have this and then upload. 
and then it's going to pull in that file. And then this is the same thing if you watched our inventory, like importing inventory uh, video previously, which I need to update, but this is going to show you all those same columns. Um, I don't have anything listed in my description, but if you did, you would see it pop up, populate under there. So here you just can check to make sure that everything is going under the proper columns, but it should be because you exported and re-imported the same file. So then up here you will click, I can't see what that says because there's a button blocking it that blue button that's in the top right and then it's going to import your library so all your changes will be in there you'll see them so this just makes it so that you're not having to go let like let's go into this foundation uh so that you're not having to go in one by one and then make the changes down here so hopefully that video was helpful if you do have those mass inventory changes that you need to make you don't want to go in one by one it would take forever so this is the way to do it i do have more square videos just like this coming up in the future that have been requested on previous comment sections so if you would like to see more square videos like this make sure you hit like subscribe and the bell so that you get notified next time i upload a square video and if you have questions that have not been answered or you would like to see a video on how to do it, make sure you leave those in the comments below and I will see you next time.